Hey guys, this is Goofer King Science, and really quickly I want to show off this new transformer that I won off an auction on eBay recently. Now this transformer can put out around 150,000 volts, and anything that can run this kind of high voltage has to be submerged in mineral oil so that nothing arcs between its coils. So, I'll show you what the transformer looks like inside here. This transformer is a beast that weighs around 50 pounds. So this whole assembly is pretty heavy with all the added weight of the mineral oil. I have the inputs coming to some feed throughs that I made in the sides of the bucket here. Those are the, this is ACN, ACN, and this is ground. And then the two high voltage outputs are submerged completely in oil very far to make sure that nothing uh, gets corona or sparks around in there. And they also come out through some feed throughs. There's one of the high voltage outputs right there. I have a really basic ballasting setup here to power this. It's still running way too much power through this variac though, so I need to get a higher amperage variac. I'm just using a primary coil of a microwave oven transformer to work as an inductive ballast to limit the current, and then that's ballasting that variac over there. And as high as I've gone on the input is about 52 volts, and I don't think I want to go much higher because the potential is quite crazy. and I think if I go any higher, I could have some potential arc overs inside the transformer because I don't know if I got all of the air out of the coils yet. Here's a better view of those electrical feed through terminals for the ACN and the ground. From this angle, you can see the two high voltage feed throughs on either side of the bucket. Here's the spark gap that I'm working with right now. Um, here's a, a little measuring stick. By now, the gap is around 19 to 20 centimeters and this transformer can easily jump that at only 52 volts input. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and do some quick bursts on the input with the Variac and you can watch how incredible the high voltage output of this transformer is. Okay, here we go, 52 volts input. We got lots of ozone production going on. Here's the transformer again, just a little bit darker exposure. Well, I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at my brand new transformer. This case with the bucket has been working all right. I've had a few leaks already, but I think I got them sealed up now. And it's under about three gallons of mineral oil. Uh, I've tried to get a lot of the air out of the coils, but I still think there's some air in there. And I don't think I want to take the input any higher, as I don't think this transformer was designed to handle any more voltage than that. Uh, anyway, that's jumping a pretty large gap, and I'm thinking it's easily 150,000 volts, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of things I can do with this transformer. that will probably end up being the power supply for my fusion reactor, the Fusor project. That's just kind of a background project that I'm still working on. Uh, not very much, but it's just been in the background for a year or so now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this transformer, and I bet you'll be seeing it in some future videos. Bye.